Hi, this is Thomas Farley, KD6 NSP. Thomas Farley of southwestrockhounding.com. Southwestrockhounding.com. I'm discussing here the my latest attempt to get the desktop app for the Mac to work. The as I've described pre in previous videos, the mobile app and for Apple and the desktop app for the Mac OS are completely different. It's almost like two different teams did them. And last week I couldn't get the desktop app to work at all. It always connects much, much slower than the mobile app. This time it took five or seven, perhaps eight minutes to get it to connect to the bird. And then it was just slow after that. Let me pause it for a second. What's happening here is my vision is completely shot. I can't look at the desktop screen without night shift on and display turned down way low. And what's happening here is I'm holding the iPhone in my hand while typing out commands on my desktop. I don't have screen capture on this machine. And there's a lot going on. Uh, you'd need an entire studio to really record all the parts of the screen, everything that's going on. Let me pause it again for just a second. Okay, given that the desktop app is really bulky to completely non-working, I find the easiest, the best solution is to compose whatever you have, say a, doc, a Word doc, and then airdrop it to your phone, and then send that. Forget about the desktop app send it over the SatFi 2 using your phone. So you've airdropped your file to the phone, saved it in files, attached it in an email, compose, get ready to send, send it on your phone. When you receive a file on the phone, airdrop that back to your laptop. Let me go offline, work on the dock. Again, airdrop it back to the phone, send it to the phone. Just I know it's easier to compose. Um, you just don't want to do anything online. You're trying to save the battery and work on the document offline. As you can see, some of the screen capture, eventually it got to work. Now, Global Star says that you can use your regular browser, say Safari or Chrome. I don't find that at all. Every single attempt has been made that I have made has been timed out or the server not reached, or it, it's just it, impossible. You have to use their SatFi browser. I've got a video on that. Um, you're just going to get timed out on any of the large servers. And go to Textize, like you can see, textize.net, and search from there. I've described this previously in another video. Um, just, again, airdrop the files, and you're going to be much quicker. Uh, it, it's going to be much more efficient. Now it seems that in today's call, I did a voice call and it, the SatFi got really stable uh, after four or five, six minutes. It really settled down, kept the connection the entire time, but again you're draining down the battery. So you want to make short calls, uh, short data transmissions. So anyway, good luck and also the problem with um, I reinstalled the desktop app several times to get it to go, but that purged and purged my cache in the same time in doing that. And then you lose your passwords to your email account. The email account requires a device specific password, and so you're into heavy a heavy mess at that point reinsta reinstating your um, email settings. And I've described the device specific password in a previous video. Anyway, apologies, apologies for the, the poor production and, and good luck with the app. It appears that the network upgrades that they did had nothing, had, has done no improvement at all to the app and they haven't worked on the desktop app at all. So use the mobile. Good luck.